Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, most car owners, modern day, use a dash cam for one of those unlikely events where they have an accident and they can pull out the footage to prove that they were in the right and the other person was in the wrong. And if it involves a motorcycle, and for instance, we're in the right and they're in the wrong, that dash footage seems to disappear. Well, we now have a secret weapon. There is now a motorcycle dash cam that could just prove that it wasn't you, it was them. And guess what? I'm gonna review it, so cue the intro. So I've been sent the Van True F1 motorcycle dash cam, and this boasts so many features. Just some of them is a 4K front camera, 1080p rear camera, GPS, so you'll always know exactly where you are. 24 hours surveillance. If anything happens to your bike, it will capture it. Click button to record. This can be so much more than just a dash cam. It could also be part of your vlogging setup as well. It boasts so much. All run on a Sony chip for pure quality. But let's unbox it. Let's install it, let's put it on the road, and let's see if this is worth every single penny. Let's get on with it. So let's start with a great unboxing. The packaging does feel premium. All the graphics and stuff that's printed on the front does look good. When you open the box, the first thing you'll see is this bike diagram that will show you where to put the cameras and all the other bits of kit. And then of course, it's not an unboxing without more boxes. So in the first box, you'll find some cables, your instruction manual, and of course, the most important thing, the actual control module itself. Then in the second box, what you'll find is some more cables, plus you'll find one mount that you can mount to crash bars, handlebars, etc., for your camera. And then there's a smaller box as well that comes with adhesive mounts, a screwdriver, and an Allen key. Then finally, at the bottom of the box is where you'll find your cameras. Now they're clearly labelled, one is 4K for the front and one is 1080p for the rear. These are aluminium made and they feel quite firm and solid to hold and touch. They have adhesive mounts in the bottom to be able to stick on, plus you've got your controller that will mount your handlebars. Now time for installation. I'd always recommend taking it to a proper professional, but that being said, it is very much a click and play system mostly. There is plenty of room for cables to put the cameras on the front and the back. Now obviously it comes with the controller that's held on with 3M tape and a zip tie, but once on it looks really neat and tidy. The cameras can be adjusted once they're on in regards to moving them up, down and rotating them. The only tricky part is that you get an ignition lead that you need to wire in. We used a piggyback fuse to make that happen. It also doesn't come with an SD card, so you need to purchase one of them and it will take up to 512 gigabyte card. Once the cameras are installed, they do look really discreet. What's quite nice because they're not big, bulky or in your face. Now it's installed, let's get out on the road. Now the 4K camera on the front to me looks really crisp and clear. Plus the 1080p on the back also looks crisp and clear. I think you can see everything that you need to see within the images themselves. Now, as soon as you turn on your ignition, it's recording. It's continuously recording and you can even forget about it even being there if you wish. Now the control on the front will say to you, it started recording, so you know it's working as soon as you start. Now let's listen to the sound that you're gonna get because the controller actually has a microphone in it that picks up the sound. So even if someone's talking to you or something happens or you want to be able to capture something of you saying about an incident that's happened, you can talk directly to the controller and it will pick up all of your sound. That's a really cool feature. The app is super cool and connects directly to the device so you can preview and watch everything that's going on. Plus you can start, stop recording and do so much more. And then also it has GPS, so when you play it back you can actually watch yourself exactly where you are on Google Maps. Plus, when there's a certain clip that you want, you can scroll through, everything's recorded in a minute, click the button, and then it will download directly to your smartphone, saving you having to open up the actual control unit, take the SD card out to get your footage. 
it's really simple and easy to use. Well, I'm super impressed because this Van True Falcon 1 motorcycle dash cam has given me that little bit of peace of mind. I love the point that I know as soon as I turn on the key that I'm recording front and back, it tells me it's recording, it tells me it's paired to my phone as well. Just, I love the point of knowing that if anything ever happens to me, I've caught it on footage right to the minute. But this is full and full of features and I've only just literally tapped into them on this short video today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link over to the website where you can read up the full spec of this, get all the information. It's full of stuff like the 24 hour security, the GPS where you can actually watch it back and see where you've traveled down on the map as well as see the video. It's got loads and it can be used for a lot more than just a dash cam. It could be used for vlogging. It can be used, like I said, as a security camera. It could be used to be able to like log your actual rides. It's just got so many features. So pop over, check them out. But I tell you what, I'm super impressed and I'm super lucky. So thank you Vantry for sending this to me. I reckon this is going to come in really handy in the future and it's given me peace of mind. Anyway, I will catch you on the next crazy helmet head adventure. You all take care, ride safe. Bye bye for now. <laughs>